video we're going to have a look to see how we can hide content using a function that returns a value and that is using the conditional element within oxygen so here i have a post and below the post i have a form which is used to update the post and obviously i don't want anybody who's not logged in or the author of this post to be able to do updates or even see this form if i navigate here you'll see that here i have the same site but I'm not logged in and you'll see that the form is not visible and if I go to this site over here you'll see that here I have um, the user logged in as a different uh, user but they also can't see the form and this is done using a function that just returns a true or a false value if the editor is also the person that's logged in or the author is the same as the person logged in so let's just head over here to our setup and you'll see that if I go into oxygen builder you'll see that I have a condition on this piece of content and I'm going to go over here to my conditions and you'll see that the condition is based on a function so there you'll see that the function is by underscore check underscore author and it just checks to see if it is true if it is true the content is shown if it's false uh, then it's not shown so if I was to say if it's not equal to true and I then save that now you'll see that when I head over to the front end of the post where I am the author you will see that the form is not visible and if I go to the login where I am logged in and I'm not the author of that post, you'll see now that the, the form is in fact visible. Right, so just to head back then here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just head over to my structure, make sure that that's selected, and now I'm going to set the condition back to its original setting, which is true. And this is um, a technique that you can use to change or update many conditions within Oxygen, and you don't have to write any specific function which then adds to the conditions it's really just a function that returns a value so here I have the snippet and here we're going to check the author and what it does then is it gets the post ID so we call the global post to get the values for the post then we have a look at getting the post ID once we have the post ID we then check to get the post author ID and that is used getting the post field function and then we we get the post field of the post author based on the post ID which is the post that we currently have that's open then we get the current users ID using the get current user ID uh, function so once I have that information then I simply write an if statement that says that if the current user ID is equal is exactly the same as the post author ID then the author is true else the author is false and then I return author so in the condition then so if, if this is true it's going to return the value true if it's not true it will return the value false so now when I go into oxygen and I'm going to attach that function again so what I'm going to do now is go to conditions and I'm going to remove that condition right now I'm going to add the condition again so I'm going to add your first condition and here you'll see that we go down to dynamic data under other and once that's loaded we go down to the PHP function return value we select that now we need to put in the function name so if I look at my function it's called by check author I head over to the function name paste it in without the brackets at the end insert that and now I can enter the value so I want to know that the value is equal to true and if the value is equal to true then display the content there are a whole lot of other options that I have here but in this case we just want it to be true and you'll see that when I save that and now what will happen is that when I head over to this particular post 
where I'm logged in as a different user the form isn't visible and oh that's me if I've been logged out right so I'm just gonna log in here again right and here is where I am logged out and there shouldn't be a form visible on this page so there shouldn't be any form visible here and there isn't and now I'm just going to go back and log in here and you'll see that I'm now logged in and I'm going to navigate to that post so product tests and now you'll see that when I go and view this product on the front end that the edit form isn't available if I do go back into the edit area and I'm going to add a new post and we're going to now add it as this user so when I go back to the main user it shouldn't be displayed so let's just get rid of these WordPress irritations right then we have um, add a new post so we'll call it add a new post we'll give it a featured image so we'll head over to the media library and I'm gonna give it this red hoodie right then I'm going to publish Once that's published, then we're going to have a look at it on the front end. So, view the product test. And now you'll see that I can edit that product. So, at the moment, there aren't any options. So, I'll just add an option here so you can see. Option one, let's give it a selling price. The description and then in the price we've added that and then I'm going to submit that and now you'll see that with that form now there's the price there's the option everything's working as it should but if I go to and what I'm going to do is copy that URL so if I go to the site where I'm logged out and I paste that in you'll see that no form is visible so there it is there's the new post there's no form visible and if I go to this uh, login here and where well, I'm not the author and I paste in the link you'll see that the form is invisible I go back to the login where I am the author and you'll see that I can in fact now view that so only the author of this particular post can see uh, the form content now the same principle that's been applied here where we return a value inside uh, a function can be used in many different ways within WordPress so especially within oxygen using the conditional element so that's the function return the value and based on that we have a condition there you can see the when I hover over you can see the name of the function and we say equal to true and in the function we've said if uh, the author is true else author is false so if the post ID matches the post we're looking at and the author ID matches the current user ID then return true and in the condition we say if that function value that is returned is equal to true then show the content so that's how easy it is to set up a conditional statement based on a return value within a function so i hope you found that useful and thank you for watching